Dashly is a platform for SaaS teams. It automates marketing and customer communication. All tools are available within one interface. Dashly helps you manage user journey, find bottlenecks in a funnel, increase conversion rates, and the number of first and repeated purchases. Dashly knows everything about your website visitors and your SaaS users, who they are, where they come from, what they do on the website and within your product, and so on. Dashly collects and analyzes this information so that you can optimize user journey and increase LTV. Let's see how it works. I will now enter the demo website and show Dashly in action. This is a Dashly demo website on WooCommerce platform. I'm in the incognito mode, which means I'm a new visitor to Dashly. There's a chat at the bottom right corner. Let's write hi there. The chat offers to leave an email. I will not do it now, but I will start filling in the form. I'll write my name, but will not hit the submit button. I'm now going to the blog section. We can see a pop-up that offers to leave my email address and be subscribed to the newsletter. Then I'll go to the card page. A pop-up is asking me whether I need any help. I'm here to help me. And the chat is inviting me to a conversation. I'm closing the conversation, but still there's a number on the chat showing I haven't read messages. So the chat is again inviting me to start the conversation. Let's visit the My Account page and see what's there. The chat knows my name and draws my attention to it, saying I should fill in the profile correctly. I'm now going to the shop, looking at an item, then I go back to the main page. I'll leave my email address somewhere, not in the right field, but I will not click on the submit button. Then I decide to leave the page. A pop-up is shown offering me a discount. I will close the website, go to my email box and see the email with an offer and a call to action from the Dashly demo account. So, I've just been a website visitor who has walked through a few pages and left without any traces. Still, I was captured as a lead. Let's go to Dashly admin panel and see how it's been done. Even though I haven't shared my personal information with the website, only clicked on Accept, Dashly tracked my name and the email address, and the lead card has been formed. I'm opening it, and we can see that all actions I did on the website are recorded in my card. What's more, I can see the number of sessions and conversations along with the properties such as location, first source, and device type. If we go to the lead section and open my card, we can see the same along with the detailed events and conversation history. I'm also falling under certain segments. Dashly initiated the communication with me based on my actions. When I entered the blog page, it offered me to leave my email address so that I could be converted from a website visitor to a lead. When I tried to leave the website, Dashly drew my attention to a special offer. Again. I was asked to share my email address. What I did next was leaving my email in a random field. As you see, Dashly captured the email address and added it to my card. That's how I received an email. Let's go back to the admin panel and find my message in chat. I am opening the inbox and see my hi message. The inbox section also shows my brief lead card with the name, segments and properties. I can type in the reply or choose it from the saved answers. When the conversation is closed, a user will be asked to rate the operator.
The rate is shown in the closed conversation. So, Dashlet tracks every single step a visitor takes on the website. Based on these events, Dashlet initiates communication and leads website visitors down the funnel. Let's see how it works in real time. I'll enter the website again in the incognito mode. Let's have a brief look at other sections of Dashly. Dashboard shows how Dashly has been working over a certain period of time, the number of active visitors, captured leads, initiated conversations and messages sent. You can always check the funnel to see the conversion rates, overall and between the steps of the funnel. It shows the bottlenecks and gives you insights about what should be improved and where to start the communication with visitors and users. For example, tell them about a key feature of your product or show them what value of your product they can get. To check the effectiveness of operators, you can always open a conversation report, general, by operators, channels and also by support quality. Dashly can also send the information to your favorite services so that you can get the full picture and improve the metrics. This is a brief description of what you can get right after the installation of Dashly. You will get to know your website visitors immediately, see who they are, where they come from, what they do on your website or within your service. So, in general, Dashly leads a website visitor through the funnel, converts a visitor into a lead, then into a customer. It also activates a lead into the product, delivers the value based on the actions that leads do, activates into key features and increases retention rate. Now let us walk through Dashly and see its features how to set up Dashly and what value the features can bring to your business.